Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Talent Films Presents Draft Prospects. And today's topic is Joe Tyron Edge from the University of Washington, the Washington Huskies. And before we get into the video, I'm going to read what one scout had to say about uh, Joe, and then we can go to the video and see if that, you know, holds true. It says, uh, Joe Tyron aligned as an edge defender for the Huskies defense. He typically will rush from an up or down position with equal effectiveness. He has excellent reactive athleticism with regards to body control and agility for a young man his size. He is a loose-hipped athlete who demonstrates fluidity when he plays on his feet. Setting the edge in the NFL will be no issue for this player. He is an explosive off the edge and projects with an elite upside with pro coaching. He has true schematic versatility and that he can be an outside linebacker in an odd front scheme or can gain weight and be a 4-3 defensive end. All right, Joe Tyron, let's go. A few stats about Joe before we get started, and he didn't play the 2020 season. These stats were, and the film will be from the 2019 season. Had 12 and a half tackles for loss, eight sacks, which is are the main you know uh, productive numbers when we when we look into edge guys and um. I don't know if college keeps up with pressures. That would be a, an excellent stat. Also, if I could find that, maybe I'll add that to the um, comment section at the bottom. But um, this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, sign up for the notifications so you can get these random videos when I drop them at random times. Because they are randomly dropped. But um, let's get into Joe's film. Alright, look on film. Joe's number 9 right here. Let's check it out and see what we got. Closing the gap. And we talked about earlier in earlier films how we like for the edge to see the puller coming and don't just wait it, go close that space. You see him coming, he's gonna close this space. Cause they're trying to make a hole right there. They're trying to make that the hole. He closed that space down, which makes the holes a little bit tighter, which helps out the linebacker, which helps out the force guy. If he stays out here wide, then the, he's going to kick him out. The puller's going to have a free reign on whoever shows up. Then the running back's going to hit right off of it. But a good job of closing that down. Even though he didn't close it like um, Aziz from Georgia did it, but it's, it's still effective. Now, the, the puller still, still gets through there, but it ends up being a double team on him. So now they're down a man. And look at this guy right here to make the tackle. Because he did his job. And he fell in on the tackle also. Go to play two. Uh, right here, goal line. They're on the, I think this is, this game is against Oregon. This is with um, rookie of the year right here, Justin Herbert. And one of these guys up here is Pine, uh, I think his last name is Sewell, the old lineman. Supposed to be the top old lineman. Supposed to be. But Joe is right here. Let's watch. Takes on the block. Doesn't give up any ground. Not being pushed back. Sheds that block. Sheds that block. This is the guy that was trying to block Joe right here. This is the, He's on the ground. Joe's free to find the ball now. Makes the tackle. Great job of shedding. Great job of, not, of, of attacking the guy trying to block him. Holding the gap. Shedding. Finding the ball. And making the tackle. Great job right there. Great job of goal line defense. Let's go on to play three. Uh, I think this is him here. He's number nine. I think this is him here off the edge. Dropping the coverage. Not bad. Not bad. Dropping the coverage with the with the uh, head on the on the swivel. Looking to see if anything coming. Hip square. Hip square. See that guy coming? Now what I say all the time is even though teams play zone. Zone is still man-to-man -man coverage. It's just when that guy comes in your zone, you play man on it. When he leaves your zone, you don't. To me, zone is still man-to-man -man coverage. This guy right here came in his zone. He played man on him. He caught it. Made the tackle. Not bad. Not bad. And that's probably a one- to two-yard guy. And it's, that's a incomplete. The ref came in and said incomplete. So that's a, a PB. You. That's a pass breakup. Look at the ref come in and say incomplete. Right there. 
That's peak. That's I don't know if you can see it on your screen. I saw it on mine. That's pass breakup. Let's go to the next play. Uh, on the opposite side now, versus 54. Right here. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Good motor. Right, you got to finish, though. Need to finish that. Let's see. Let's look at his pass rush moves. See what he got. Slow. Or this slow. One of them slow. There we go. Just a bull rush. Didn't work. Bull rush then tried to, to rip him and release. Didn't work. Big force deal there. Counter move. Go the other way. Probably would have worked had they not been doubling this guy right there. So now it's three versus two. So let me keep working. Keep working. I see the QB. I see the QB. I'm going to keep working. I can't miss this tackle, though. Can't miss this opportunity for a sack. Can't miss the opportunity for a sack. Because, you know, I think it's incomplete, but that could have been a big big play. Can't miss the opportunity for a sack. Good motor, though. Good high motor. Play five. Mm, where's number nine? I think these are him over here on the edge. Right there. Good pursuit. Good pursuit. Got to finish, though. Again, got to finish. Good pursuit. Good job of chasing the ball down. This shows good hips. The hips they were talking about, the scout talked about um, in the pre, my pre-video, from before the intro. It's good hips right here. Tried to get it. Tried to knock it down first. See it complete. Flip around. Run it down. Run it down. Pretty good athlete, fairly athletic, fairly athletic. I like what I see out of him. And he was a, I didn't know much about him until I, you know, was formulating my list. So I, I, I kind of like this dude. Solid player. Let's go to the next play. Now this is against Washington State. Um, this is against a pass happy Mike Leach. So should get a lot of pass rushing in this game. I think he had two, two sacks this game too. This is number nine. Here. Mm, chasing the ball again. Just like the last play. Chasing the ball down. Couldn't get there initially. Find the ball and go get it. See ball, go get ball. See ball, go get ball. And those little receivers and running backs doing these screens don't like to take these hits. Eventually, they, they, they start looking for these guys. They try, they try to run outside where there's nothing there. They don't like those hits, but good job of pursuing. Good job of retracing as, as the coaching turn. The high motor. Let's see. Is he in this picture? I don't see him on this one. Maybe in the flats somewhere. Oh, no. That's him with the sack. I'm Shane. My bad. It's him with the sack. Right here in this gap. Right here in this gap. That's him right there. So he gets double. Takes on 63. 52 kind of throws that on my there really half-heartedly. But he's 52 is going to focus on this dude. Because the center got half a man. So I got to go help this guy. And when he does, watch him get off. Grip, dip, and rip. Inside, right to the QB. Once that double team left, and it was one-on-one, -on -one, it was a wrap for 63. Because he's good with the double team. Can't get through the double team. And a lot of times when I was watching this, when he was doubled, he kind of just, he tried, but he went to the to the middle of the double team, so to speak. If I'm, let me, So what I'm saying is when he was double teamed a lot, he would end up right here a lot. Like in between both of them and not attack one or the other. But this one, but this time, he didn't do that. He attacked 63. And so when 52 left, thinking 63 had him, now he had his way with him. But on a lot of, especially in the Oregon game, when he was double teamed, he just ended up right in the middle of the double team. He didn't attack one guy or the other. 
he just kind of, I ain't gonna say let him block him, but that's what it looked like. But this is a good job of kind of attacking 63 and not letting the, the double team dictate what you do. Good. Good. Next play. See number nine. Here. Let's see what we got. I think it's another sack. Yes, yeah, another sack. And with the little game with 90. Ooh. Okay, good game. Good game. Good little stunt. So 90's going to try to take him out. Take his, take his inside shoulder route all while this guy's kicking to him. So they're going to go there as a unit. The 90, the tackle, and the guard. And when they do, he's going to push up and loop right around it. And look at the speed that just, just burst right to the QB. 90 is attacking the inside shoulder of, of the tackle. And he and the guard has to block him because that's who his guy is. The guard don't see the stunt though. He never sees the stunt. He still kind of he see it now, but he's still kind of facing that. And look at him split it. Split it just right off 90's butt. Look, that's perfect. Right off 90's butt. Flat to the quarterback. Flat to the QB. I think this is the last play. It is. It is. It is. Solid, solid, solid prospect. Uh, Joe Tyron from um, University of Washington Huskies. Um, 12 and a half tackles for loss. Eight sacks in his, I want to say his junior season. If Well, in 2019. And um, he looks solid. Looks solid. This is, um, again, my interpretation of Joe Tyron's play in 2019. This is Coach Edwin Films. Make sure you like. Comment, subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thank you for rocking with me. Peace.